we were talking about goal setting and we were talking about the um, smart goal setting where our goals are specific, our goals are measurable, our goals are action oriented, they're realistic and they're time oriented. And now, now understand that I'm about to say something that flies in the face of what I was talking about before, but, but it's really important to get this. I hope that you did the exercise to be able to set that goal for you. Now, the thing that I want you to think about is let's actually think about making our goal slightly unrealistic. Because if we don't have a big, hairy, audacious, great goal, it may not be motivating enough for us to be able to achieve it. What I want you to think about is, is what's your goal? What do you want to accomplish? And if you want to accomplish feeling better, maybe you want to accomplish losing 45 pounds and 45 pounds seems like a lot. But just imagine for a second what life would be like if you lost 30. Let's say you did everything that it took for you to lose 45 pounds, but for some reason you, you came up short and you lost 30 pounds. That would be pretty darn exciting if you were able to get there. But let's say you just made a little goal of five or 10 pounds and that was all. That's, all you, that's, that's the only goal that you made. Now that goal is maybe more realistic, but does that goal really get you going? Does that goal really excite you when you wake up in the morning? Does that goal really help push you forward? No, the heart goal that we talked about before, and maybe just making that goal big and hairy enough, big and audacious and grand and enough so that uh, you're more motivated to do it. So that even if you make that goal super huge and fall just short, that you've still done an amazing thing. Think about making that goal maybe just a little unrealistic and you just might see an even better improvement and change in your health. Hey, I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully you got the guide, our 2020 Healthy You Goal Setting Guide, um, where we talk about how you can make yourself healthy, how you can improve your life and your health this coming new year. And don't just do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it for the people around you. Because if your kids are doing this, imagine what that would do. That could create a healthy, gosh, a, a healthy family. And if you create a healthy family, when they go out into the world, they're creating other healthy families. And when you start putting that together, you start to create, with what you're doing today, you can create a healthy community over time. And if we create more and more healthy communities, we're going to end up with a healthy world. Guys, this is not just us sitting down for a few minutes and talking about how to make your next few days better. I want you to follow steps that's going to make a change and impact in our world, and you can do it. You have the ability to do that. I believe in you, and I'm excited to see what this looks like. No pressure, just work on you for today. But when you put that together, it's going to make a difference in our world. And I'm just excited. Thanks for joining us. I wish you a healthy and happy new year. Stay tuned as we go through the year. We're going to be producing content that is going to give you just this. That's going to help you to, to be healthier, help you be healthier, help you feel better, help you achieve your goals. That's what I'm excited about. Guys, I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.